Hi everyone, I am Sneha C. Anthony. I am a Data Gyan student. In this video, I will explain you how to install SQL Server on MacBook. In MacBook, we won't be able to use the official SQL Server Management Studio so that we need to use another Microsoft product that is called Azure Data Studio along with a Docker desktop. So for installing SQL Server, it includes five or six steps. We can just go through that. We need to download Docker desktop and Azure Data Studio. So we can just go through the first step that is installing Docker for Mac. For that, you just go to your browser Just go to your browser and search for Docker. So you can see here you click on the first link. Then you can see download Docker desktop for Intel chip and for Apple chip. So you need to check your chip is whether it is Apple or Intel. Mine is Apple. So you need to whether it is Apple chip, you need to click on here. Whether it is Intel chip, you need to click on here and just download it. By clicking here, it will get downloaded. Once it downloaded, you just drag that into your applications. I have already downloaded it and I have just dragged that into, your, into my application. And so that I can see that in my launch pad. So this is the Docker. So once you get download your Docker desktop, just drag that into the applications and you can see that in, in your launch part. So our first step is completed. Then next step is installing Azure Data Studio. We first step in the first step we have installed Docker desktop, and in the second step, we are going to install Azure Data Studio. So here you can search in the browser that. Assume that is free. Okay, then click on the first link that you see. Then just scroll down. Okay, then you can see for Mac, there is a zip file for Intel and Apple. So this is the thing which you need to download. Whether it is for Apple Silicon or for Intel, you can just download. Then after downloading, you just drag that, that also into your applications so that you can see that in your launch pad. This is Azure Data Studio. I have already installed it. Then you can see here, how the installation process and the step-by-step -step installation process here, you can just go through that. Okay, then we have just created our Docker desktop and we just installed our Azure Data Studio. So we can just move to the third step that is creating a Docker ID. So for creating a Docker ID, I have already created it. Once you open your Docker desktop, you can see a sign-in option here. Then you just click on that sign-in option. After that, you need to enter your name, your mail ID, then give a Docker user ID and a password. After that, you just log in. Then you can see this is my Docker ID. I have already created it then you just navigate your Docker desktop. So here, one thing you need to check, this is the settings option. In the settings, click on resources. Here, this the resources should be same as here. The memory should be 4 GB. Otherwise, it won't be work. So you just check whether it is proper or not. So you just created your Docker ID. Then we can just go to fourth step. That is download the official Microsoft SQL container image. So for that, you just navigate your Docker desktop. 
okay in the docker desktop you you should be login to login this is your this is my docker id then in the in the docker app we need to search azure sql edge just click on azure sql edge then just scroll down until you see azure sql edge so here you can see azure sql edge and one thing you should be noted that it should be returned by microsoft so just click on that so this is the official container image for microsoft azure sql edge so this is the terminal command you just copy this terminal command and just paste that into your terminal so once you copy and paste you can see that is pulling once the pull is completed we can just go to next step so the step 5 is run the sql image in a container so for that you can see here another command you can see docker run okay this is the whole command just go to the end you need to copy this whole command and paste that into the same terminal here you need to enter your password your strong password you need to enter your strong password here password equal to your strong password then this is sa this is the user defined one you can change it or not whether you change you should be remember that because that should be used for further purpose so you need you can change or not this is same then you need to give one strong password here then copy that to your terminal and run the command then we can just go to the sixth step that is connect azure data studio to the docker image for that open your azure data studio this is my azure data studio so once you open you can just see this is the home page so you need to click on this create a connection so here this is the connection i have already created i will click into this but you should be click you should be right here the server is local host this will not show in your system because i have already done this you need to give the server as local host then username sa whether you changed this sa here you need to enter the changed one then your password as you give here then after that just give to connect okay then you can see your local host is connected and you can go to new query so this is the local host which i have then this is the database you can write queries here so this is how the sql server installed on macbook so i think it will be helpful for so i think this video will be helpful for you so thank you all